Hi everyone! So I wanted to do a little project share tutorial with you guys. We are going to be playing with the Dollar Tree rub-ons. So let me share with you the one that I made, which is this one right here. So I did this background paper, so I'm going to show you real quickly how I put that together. Because I love how it came out. So this is my 12 by 12 sheet, but I did cut some of it off because, you know, I needed to use it for the project here. So <clears throat> I bought this book from a thrift store and I don't even know what language it's in because none of it at all is in English. But here are what the pages look like on the inside. So I did not want any of this line right here or right here. And then I didn't want any of the blank space around the edge. So what I did was I just cut them all up. So see, it just ends up being, you know, just that little piece right there of writing. So this is all that I kept on the pages. So then after that, what I did was I then, let me get a sheet here. So what I did was then I just tore it up. So there was really like, no reason to how big I cut it so you know I got a piece like this sometimes I folded it down like this and then tore down the middle so then I ended up with these even smaller strips and then you know I just kind of ripped from there so I mean it was just all different kinds of sizes no rhyme or reason to why I cut one piece one size over another it just whatever I felt like cutting that's what I did so I ended up with all these little like shred pieces, but then it looked like too new and too clean for me. And I wanted to go for a little bit more grungier look. So I was going to use ink, but then I remembered that I had this gold paint that I bought on clearance from Hobby Lobby. So I decided to use the ink, uh, the paint as if it was ink to ink up the edges. So that's why you see like right here, like they're in between the edges right here. And then if I still had a little bit left on my finger, sometimes I would just smear it on there. So that's what I did to get this like gold effect. The only bad thing was for this paper, the ink did start to lift. So it got even more like grimy, dirty looking. You can kind of see up here. So let me show you. I just literally opened it up. Oh, look, see from opening right here, I got some ink on my finger. So I just got a little bit of ink, put it right on the edge. And you can see I still have some gold right here from earlier. <laughs> so I just put it on the edge and then just kind of like ran my fingers over it. So, you know, you just need a little dab. Just dab it on the edge, dab it on the edge, dab it on the edge, over there, and then just kind of like run your finger over it. So you see, I had it on this finger, and this finger still has a lot of ink, so I used another finger to just go ahead and kind of just blend it all in. So then your piece ends up looking like this. So you just kind of rub it out until you get the desired look that you want. So that's how I got these little gold pieces. So you see that it's a little bit more concentrated and darker on the edge. So that was my whole idea behind that. I got ink all over my hands. Should have brought a baby wipe over here, but I didn't. Um, so then after that, after I, so what I do is I would ink up all of these or, you know, paint all of these. So when all of these were done, then I got a brush and I started using the Mod Podge to go ahead and glue it down. So I would just take the brush and then just go ahead and, you know, smear it on a section. And then start laying down my pieces as I wanted. So you can see, like, right here, like, some of it hangs off the edge. That's fine with me because then I just go through and I cut it off. So, you know, just take your scissors, put it up against the edge of the paper. And just go ahead and trim that off. So then now you can get, you know, like your straight little edge or you can leave it if you don't mind and you want that, you know, little extra hanging off. 
actually I probably should have left it on that would have been cool too huh and just have a little bit of extra so yeah I mean however you like so that's what I did with that but like I said for this paper it started you know to kind of smear it and it gave it that more you know darker grungier look as well so you can see like right here like the ink like really bled right here you see where it's more like the black so that doesn't bother me like I said this is for Halloween so I wanted the dirty grungy look anyway so it didn't bother me and then I went ahead and I just put down two of the rub-ons from Dollar Tree so let's go ahead and do one together so here's all my little pieces let me slide my book over here these are the three that I found from Dollar Tree. I'm hoping to find more because I'm absolutely loving how well these transfer. Like, you can compare the color right here. I think it looks pretty good still. So, I love how it came out. You see, it's still dark and true to color. I love it. So, I'm hoping I can find more because I would really, really love some more. Because that's all that I have for right now. So on this one, I just left it the way it came off of the sheet here is how I cut it and I used it. On this one, I actually took some more of that gold and ran my finger around the edge and then, you know, rubbed it in as well. So this one has a lot more gold. So we are going to go ahead and use this card. Um, I'm going to continue with this pack right here that I've already opened. So all is what I did was I pulled the sheet out and then I picked what I wanted to use so you can see right here and right here is what I used earlier I don't know if I want to go for this tombstone or for the kitty I love the kitty let's go for the kitty so um you could probably cut it with the backing that's probably the best way to do it but I didn't I just lifted it up and then I make sure I don't touch any of the images with the scissors or with my fingers so I want them to stay sticky so just go ahead and cut out what you want to use and I might use more than just the cat and the cauldron depending on how it looks so let's go ahead and put that back down on our sheet let's take our image here Let's see, where do we want to put this? Oh, that's going to be super cute. I think there looks good. And you see, I'm not, this isn't all the way down, so I can still kind of move it around and see where I want it. So I think I'm going to put this more towards the bottom. So maybe I could get another bat up here. So then I have two little bats. So let me see if that's even. Let's put that there. Okay, so yeah, there's room. And I'm going to cut out another one of those bats and put another bat up here. So then what I did was I kind of just smashed it and rubbed it down with my finger just to make sure it was down. And then because I had my scissors with me, I just took my scissors and used my scissors to rub the image on. I know they say you can use a popsicle stick. I think this one says use like your finger. Let me see what does this say cut the image out peel it off the backing rub firmly with your fingernail or a blunt object so let's go ahead and rub this all in oh there's a spider web on the cauldron too that's cool okay let's see how well did i do Okay, there's a little piece on the tail right there that's not done. So I just went ahead and laid that back down, and I'm just going to rub it some more. Okay, that's peeling up nice and smooth. So just carefully roll it back, and you'll be able to see if something didn't stick. And then, you know, you just got to rub it a little more in that area. Okay, so right here on these bubbles, they did not stick. So let's lay that back down and rub them. Okay, they're stuck down. Okay, part of my 
bat, you can see right here and right here, part of it is still attached. So I'm going to lay that back down. Okay, let's see how this is turning out. There's a tiny spider. Ooh, okay, that laid down. Perfect. Yay, so look at that. I think that transfers over beautifully. So there is our little rub on. Like I said, I want to put another bat up here. Maybe a ghost. Um, I don't know. Are these ghosties too big? Let's see. Let's cut out just a piece of it and let's see. Oh, he is a little bit too big. Oh, I wish he was smaller. Where's this little ghosty? No, I don't like those. Okay. Put those back down here. Let's just take this back. Let's stick with the original idea. And let's take this bat. I think that would be good there. So let's go ahead and rub this on down again. I kind of hold my finger on a spot where I'm holding down the plastic as well, just in case it does start to loosen up and start to slip and slide. I want to make sure that I can, you know, have my image pretty nice. So I just kind of hold that plastic down. Then like, oh, here in the ears where it's a little bit thinner, I want to make sure that I've got that all nice and rubbed down. So let's give this a go. I guess it just slowly. So let me see if you see right here. The tip of it is still attached to the plastic film, so I'm going to lay it back down and rub it some more. So I definitely want to get that piece in there. Okay, so now you see like it's a little bit like frosty, so you see how darker it is over here and over here it's a little bit frosty, so that means that it's stuck pretty well down now. So let's just continue to slowly roll the film back. Perfect! So there is our little baddie bat. I think this looks very, very cool. I kind of like this little poison bottle. Now that might be doing too much, but let's just see. And do I want to add that in front right here maybe? Oh, I think I like it there. So the cauldron has this little spider web right here. And you guys know I'm obsessed with spiders. So I do want to kind of keep that. But I think I might put the little poison bottle. Do I want it on the side of the kitty? In between the kitty? I think I'm going to do it over the broom. So we're going to actually stack them together. Let's see how that works. I haven't tried that yet. So... This little poison bottle is going to lay over part of the cauldron and part of the broom. So let's see how this works out with layering them on top of each other. I'm like, I hope this looks really pretty. Okay, let's see if this is done. Ooh, look at that. I think that worked out great. I mean, you can kind of see like right here, here's a little foot of the cauldron and then here's a little bit of the broom. But the little poison bottle stands out for the most part. Wow, I'm telling you, I'm loving these. I want to go out and I want to buy all of the robots now. I'm sold. I'm so convinced that I need all of these in my life. I definitely need more Halloween ones. Because I love these. How cute is this? 
I want to do I have like a little moon that I can add over here to the corner let me look at what is left so this sheet has a bunch of bigger images so let's put this over to the side and oh it's only a big moon and yeah that's gonna be too big oh what about the spider web okay i'm gonna put the spider web in that corner or should i put another little like bat mm, oh there's some stars on this one there's some stars here or a bat I think i'm gonna go for the spider web so let's put the spider web down there I'm like, honestly, I think you could just do this as well and just cut out the whole entire thing. That way you don't have to worry about sticking your fingers on anything else. So we'll just do it this way. So there's that. Let's peel the back off. Let's line this up in the corner. Oh, that's going to look cool. I like it already. Okay. Smash that down. There's so many little fine deal details to the spider web. It's really, really thin. So I need to make sure that I rub this really, really well so I can get all those little fine details in there. Let's see, I don't think that's done right there. Let's try using my fingernail. It says on the packaging you could use your fingernail or a blunt object. So let's go ahead and use my fingernail. Okay. Let's lift this one up. Ooh, that looks so cute. Okay, I'm going to stop playing with this before I keep adding more pieces. So here is my little ATC card. So an ATC card is two and a half by three and a half. It's the standard size of a baseball card. And then uh, you fill out your information on the back. So I still need to fill out my information. But I love this. I am obsessed with these robots. I definitely need more. Oh my gosh, I need more. This is so cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry it's a long video, but hopefully you guys can find all of these. They're amazing, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.